Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is December the 27th, 2020. Let's talk about some basketball futures I like right now. I think there's some great opportunities out there. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, I believe the Los Angeles Lakers, the defending champions, are hopelessly overrated, right? They lost a lot of guys, folks. This is a different team than last year. And understand, some of the players were great defensively. You might think of them as past their prime, but some of these guys made the all-defense team multiple times in the past. Dwight Howard, he's gone. Dwight Howard, of course, has been Defensive Player of the Year in the past, right? Rajon Rondo, he's gone. Look at his all-defense past. Danny Green, he's gone, right? So the Lakers literally have had the interior of their team change. Also, I know we don't want to talk about it, but LeBron James is getting older. For those of you who don't think that LeBron's game has dipped a little bit, I encourage you to look at his free throw percentage, right? LeBron isn't who he was. He's still a spectacular player. He's still one of the best in the league. But this is a mid-30s version of LeBron James. This is not the LeBron James who was with the Miami Heat. Let's face it, too. Anthony Davis has an injury history. When he signed his long-term deal with the Lakers, he admitted it. He said one of the reasons he took the long-term deal was because of his injury history. So the Lakers shouldn't be going off as such a prohibitive favorite, right? They're below a plus 300 now on the season in a very competitive NBA. I'm not buying it. So what the Lakers have done is they have tilted the odds for other teams. So let's talk about the other teams that I like. How about the Denver Nuggets? Folks, understand, Denver was in the Western Conference Finals against the Lakers, right? But yet today, December 27th, 2020, you can get Denver 20 to 1 to win it all. Understand our strategy. We want to lock in the long odds so later we can hedge the play. Obviously, I'm not alone here in the background. Another team to consider, right? Again, outsize odds. How about the team that played LA in the finals, the Miami Heat? Folks, they're going off at 16 to 1. Then, of course, you have the team that already beat the Lakers this season, the team that was up three games to one on Denver in the conference semis, that's the Los Angeles Clippers. You're getting them at a plus 550, right? Again, a plus 550. Understand, last year, Kawhi, Paul George, it was all new, right? This year, the guys are there. They've actually played together a little bit. Right? I think the Clippers are dangerous. Let's remember, they were one game away from the conference finals. Finally, unless you've been sleeping under a rock, you should know that the team playing, in my opinion, the best basketball in the National Basketball Association this early part of the season, a team that's loaded, the Brooklyn Nets. You're getting them at a plus 550. Brooklyn just dismantled Boston, folks. What I want people to do is to Google Marcus Smart's comments after the game. He said, look, this Brooklyn team forces you, forces you to be perfect. Kevin Durant looks like Kevin Durant, right? Coming back from major injury. Um, Kyrie Irving, my goodness, folks. Pencil him in right now to the All-Star game. Understand, the team has bigs, right? DeAndre Jordan, uh, Jared. The uh, team has three-point shooters other than Kyrie Irving, other than Kevin Durant. Take a look at Joe Harris's three-point percentage historically. The team's loaded. You're getting them at a plus 550, right? So to sum up, over the year, we're going to 
add more people to this list. But just understand you're getting ridiculous casino mispricings right now because the Lakers are overvalued. So Denver, 20 to 1. You got to be kidding me. I know they're not playing great defense right now. That'll tighten up. It's still very early. Miami, 16 to 1. Has anyone figured out that Drakic was out for the finals? That Bam missed games in the finals? Folks, when healthy, this team is dangerous. They're going off at 16 to 1. Right again, we're talking about teams. One team made the conference finals last year. You're getting them at 20 to 1. One team made the NBA finals last year, getting them at 16 to 1. Those are musts. Then, of course, the Clippers, right? Folks, they are loaded. Serge Ibaka is now a Clipper, right? Plus 550. Then, of course, the Brooklyn Nets, plus 550. We'll augment this list as the year goes along, right? But keep in mind here, we're looking for value. I'm not just looking for good teams. I'm looking for 20 to 1 odds. If they're available on good teams with superstars, right? Joker, Murray, who, of course, have experience going deep in the playoffs and have done so recently. So, again, Denver... Miami, the Clippers, the Nets, I believe right now, they deserve your attention. Clippers have already beaten the Lakers in the regular season this year. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.